All right, so I'm going to help you real quick with some of these uh, problems you have. Uh, like when we want to determine the total cost, or well the total cost is always going to be total cost equals uh, purchase total. Okay, purchase total plus tax. Okay, so purchase total plus tax. So just remember, total cost, purchase total plus tax. So when we're doing these kind of problems, if your bill's 58 and you get a, you're gonna leave a 20% tip, uh, you're not gonna do this. This is not what you do. 58 plus 20 is 70. Okay, that's that's not right. Okay, that's wrong. You must multiply the two numbers. Okay, you need to find out how much 20% of 58 is. So you gotta multiply, but you gotta convert this to a decimal. So you got 20%, so you convert this by moving it two times to the left, and you get 58 times 0.2, or 0.20, but 0.20 is the same as, or 0.2. Okay, so it's the same thing. So we're gonna multiply 58, point, 58 times 0.2, so 16, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1, 11. There's one number to the right of the decimal, so we move this. So that means 1160, you give me 1160 of tip. Well, that means now, you're gonna put $58 plus the 1160 that you're gonna leave as tip. Now you're gonna add that. See, I didn't add the 20%, 58 plus 20%, no. You have 58 plus the, ta plus the tip, and your tip is $11.60. So now I can add them and I get uh, 60, 9, 60. That's my answer. Okay. You're leaving a tip. The same thing, this word gratuity is another word for tip. So it's the same thing. Same thing you do for number one, you do number two. Okay, uh, you have here, a com you buy a computer, they're gonna tax you. The same thing, okay? You're not gonna do this. Okay, no, that's the wrong way. Okay, it's 1,500 times the decimal of this. And so you have 7%, you move it to, and the decimal's always to the right on the number, because it's a whole number. So decimal's here, one, two. And so you multiply times 0 0.07. And then 1,500 times 0, .0 well, times seven is zero, seven times is zero. Five times seven is 35. 7 times 1 plus 3 is 10, and I get 10,500. Uh, there's two numbers to the right of the decimal, 1, 2. And so that means that's, this is the tax that I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay $105 in total tax, total tax. So now I'm going to add that number to the computer cost. The computer cost this much plus tax. Remember, total cost, purchase total plus tax. So I'm going to put here 1,500. Okay, oh, 1500 plus 105, okay, $105. And so now I add it together, I get 506. This is how much I'm gonna pay before they let me go. So if I'm Best Buy, uh, that's what they're gonna charge me. Okay, so number four is the same thing. Same thing I did over here. Can you look at the next one there? Uh, five, a restaurant bill comes to 28.35, determine the total cost. If the tax is 6.25% and a tip of 20%, okay? So you're gonna leave a tip and a uh, tax, and they're gonna tax you, of course, because anywhere you go, they tax you. So you wanna leave a tip on top of that. Okay, so first, well, let's find out what the tip is. What, what is the, how much you can leave a tip? Okay, so, uh, and you have a tax. Well, sometimes when you're doing two different percentages, uh, you can add them together and then uh, multiply times the, the cost, whatever the bill is, okay? So we can also do it that way. So we can do this, okay? 6.25 and 20, so. Okay, and I get 26.25. Oh, sorry. I get 26.25 right there. I added the, the tax and the tip. Okay? And so I added the tax and the tip. 
I'm going to convert this percent to a decimal. No, no, because this was a percent and that was a percent. And so I move the decimal two times to the left, one, two. I get 0 0.2625. And I'm going to multiply that times 28.35. Point two six twenty five. Okay, whatever I get here, well, I'm going to add it to the bill because I'm going to get taxed this and I'm going to tip. So whatever I get, I add it to the bill. Okay. Number six, total rule takes the dog to be groomed. The fee to groom the dog is 75 plus tax is $80 and up. Well, the same thing you do for number, f for number four here, you do here. Except at the end, you're going to see if you have enough, if you ha only have $80. Okay? And you're going to need to explain, say, oh, yes, he has enough. He has, I don't know, a dollar left. Or no, he needs $2 more. Okay? So the same thing you did for number four, do for number six. And just check to see if he has enough. It's $80. Uh, seven, determine the selling price and amount of increase of a $207 bicycle with 24% markup. So they marked it up. Determine the selling price and amount of increase of the bicycle. So this is how much the bike uh, costs. They want to increase it by 24%. So 24, 270 times 24%. But I got to convert this percent to a decimal, one, two. And so 270 times 0.24, okay? Let me make it look, 270 times 0.24. 270 times 0.24. What you get here is what you want to raise your price by. So if you have a 270, your price of the bicycle, if let's say this was $10. Well, that means you're going to raise it $10, so that you're going to sell it for 280. Uh, so that's what it means. So what is the markup? Markup is what are you going to resell it for? Okay? So think about it. Determine the selling price and amount of increase of a $40 painting was a 40% markup. Again, 450 times 45 percent, but convert this to a decimal, one, two. So it's 450 times 0.45. What you get is what you're going to raise your price by. Okay. So uh, here, what is the sales tax on the chair shown? With the tax rate is 5.75 percent. Okay. So. What is the sales tax on the chair? Oh, and it has a price here, okay? I think it has a price there. I can't see it on my paper. But uh, let me see if I can go a little bit closer. Okay, and you see that? Okay, so it's, um, oh, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe, uh, let me check that out. Let me check the place. This is page 271. Number is 178.90. So this is 178.90. Okay, so that's the price there. So the sofa costs 178.90. Okay, that's what it costs. What is the sales tax on the chair shown if the tax rate is that? So 178.90 times, well, times that. But you got to convert it to a decimal and you'll find the answer. Okay, the store pays $10 for a bracelet and the markup is this. The customer will also pay 5.5% tax. What is the total cost? Okay, so $10 times, convert that to a decimal, which is 1.15. Okay, what you get, you, rate, you add it to this price and then you multiply times this and then you add. Try to, try to answer that question. I'm going to leave that one there without doing it. Good luck. I wish. <laughs>